Now that's annoying, but it'll speed me up ever so slightly. This is on the free version, so I need to get that upgraded on this computer in the room. So no wonder it looks different. It's on the free version, which only gives me a five minute window of recording. So at least it shuts me down, shuts me, no, quick, shuts me up a little bit. Uh, so sorry about that when it disappeared. And so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the time here now. Uh, so that'll give me, it gives me two pi by three. And then if you check on the graph for the other value, because of the symmetry of the curve. So I've got two pi by three, and I've got two pi, take two pi by three. Uh, so four pi by three. There we go, there. Then it says, uh, give, oh, give the coordinates. All right, okay. So I want to do the coordinates now. So when x is two pi by three, y would be 2 pi over 3 plus 2 sine of 2 pi by 3. You stick that in your calculator, you get 2 pi over 3 plus root 3. So that will have a coordinate, 2 pi over 3, comma, 2 pi over 3 plus root 3. And then for x is 4 pi over 3, y would be 4 pi over 3 plus 2 sine 4 pi over 3. So y would be, what would it be? 4 pi over 3 minus root 3. There, so I've got 4 pi over 3. And there, if you can read it, 4 pi over 3 minus root 3 in the coordinate. So them two are stationary points ones. This one's an equation of a tangent. So remember, if you want the equation of a tangent, in terms of a plan, if we do it over here, I know that for a straight line, you need a point and a gradient. So I want to differentiate it, find the gradient, find the y value if I've not already got it, and then just use those to make the equation. So that's my plan. Same plan as what I've had in the past. So I differentiate the 1 plus sine 2x. So dy by dx is equal to. So 1 disappears. Sine goes to cos from my thing. So I've got 2 cos 2x. When x is pi by 3, dy by dx is 2 cos of 2 times pi by 3, and that gives you, uh, what does it give you, minus 1, so dy by dx is minus 1, remember that's the gradient of a tangent, I need the y value though, so y is 1 plus sine of 2 times pi by 3, which is 1 plus root 3 over 2, randomly, 1 plus root 3 over 2. And then I'm just going to use my equation. So I've got y take away 1 plus root 3 over 2 is equal to minus 1 x minus pi by 3. There. Looks really messy, but it's not that bad, is it really? Right. So I'm a quick look on the next page. So hopefully that's done. There it is, yeah. Yeah. So just have a look at that one for the um, equation of the tangent because I was very aware of the time running out, so I wrote it quite quickly. So I differentiate it, find the gradient, find the y value, and use them. If it was the normal, I'll flip and change the sign on my gradient. Right, I've got some questions to do there, so well done, everybody. Bye-bye.